So WebGPT is back in the custom GPT store. And in addition to just navigating the web, it can also deploy these awesome no-code creative playgrounds where you can build games like Flappy Bird. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you've probably seen this demo before where we actually built Flappy Bird. And you'll notice that this game looks a little bit different now, doesn't it? In the past, oftentimes the model would inference with vastly different visual styles, and at best, it would get close to the visual style of Flappy Bird like so. Well, now WebGPT is powered by GPT-4.0, the latest and greatest multimodal model from OpenAI. And you'll notice that now the model's capturing a lot more detail in the bird character model, as well as the pipe treatments around the edges. But those vertical pipe gaps are definitely supposed to be more consistent and they should be tighter to make it challenging but fair. So I'm gonna give this feedback to the LLM and we're gonna watch it go ahead and iterate on these improvements for me. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna notice that GPT-4.0 is much faster at writing code than the previous models that powered WebGPT were. This model is also choosing to be a lot more verbose about the code, writing it out inside of the chat, which I think is actually great because it'll help you to learn programming as well as you're watching your LLM do the coding for you. And of course, one of the things that WebGPT has always done better than anybody else in the entire world is implementing these code changes and deploying them to your own interactive environment automatically for you directly from chat. And then just spitting you out a convenient link to play test your app or game. Now, one of the great advantages of building with WebGPT is that it actually can connect your LLM directly to your error console. So it's able to go and debug your problems directly from chat. WebGPT is able to understand that it's just a syntax error, a missing comma in the code, and it's able to identify exactly where in the code that error is and move to make a precision edit to fix it. And kudos to the OpenAI team for the new ChatGPT interface. You can actually just expand these request prompts and you can see what the LLM's intentions were with its change log right before your eyes. So with that syntax error fix, you recall the original change that we were making was to tighten up those vertical pipe gaps. We should have a much better version of the game. And lo and behold, there it is. The link to play this game will be in the comments or the thread wherever this is posted. And you can start using WebGPT again in the ChatGPT custom GPT store.